So welcome to the Creating Communities Tent. We talk uh, here about a lot of the things that we're doing within the various liberty communities. One of them certainly is political action. And we are lucky enough to have the former speaker of the New Hampshire House here to uh, talk to us about, you know, when, do you, when are you politically active and when should you not be politically active? Bill O'Brien is co-chair of the New Hampshire Cent uh, Center Right Meet Meeting a member of the New Hampshire GOP State <coughs> Committee, a former New, uh, New Hampshire House Speaker, and a possible candidate for the U.S. Senate. Bill? Yeah. Uh, no, I guess this is good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. That's good. So, um, what I decided we should do is have uh, a Mr. Inside, that would uh, perhaps be there. And we can have the Mr. Outside. And that's Skip Murphy. So let me introduce Skip Murphy to you. Skip Murphy. Is probably known to all of you. But, but if not, uh, he founded and runs the Granite Rock uh, site. Um, and over time, on the outside, has become an amazingly effective advocate for liberty issues and is somebody that. Uh, causes us to go to one website every day and see what uh, uh, he is saying as well as all of his writings. So, welcome. Well, thank you very much for having me. What we decided we could do is have uh, a Mr. Inside, that would uh, perhaps be me, and then we could have the Mr. Outside. And that's Skip Murphy. So let me introduce Skip Murphy to you. Skip Murphy is Probably known to all of you, but but if not, uh, he was founded and runs the Granite Rock uh, site. Um, and over time, on the outside, has become an amazingly effective advocate for liberty issues, and is somebody that uh, uh, causes us to go to one website every day and, and see what uh, uh, he is saying, as well as all of his writers are saying. So, welcome, Steve. Well, thank you very much for having me. So what I thought we'd talk about today is the best strategy for affecting change. Um, and many of us confront the issue of whether or not our efforts would be best used by uh, going on the inside, running for political office, running for a party office, trying to work within an organization to affect change. And others and, and, uh, have, have taken the position that you know, I think I'll, I'll be on the outside, I'll work uh, on specific issues, I'll found or work with, with groups that um, deal with specific issues. And I've often given a lot of thought as, you know, what's the most effective way to participate in, in, the, uh, in the public square? Um, in, in many ways, it's perhaps a little bit more comfortable to do one or the other. You know, in, in the time I was involved in politics, uh, I decided that I was going to uh, do something that we've seen our president do, as a matter of fact, keep promises. And that, that um, led to uh, a lot of pushback. It was fairly uncomfortable, you know, with, with uh, 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 members of the other party bringing criminal complaints against my family, um, you know, death threats against me personally. Um, police having to sit outside my house and just when I was speaker. And yet, it was a very effective position. You know, I could, I could um, certainly work some changes that I was interested in, but also I couldn't work many changes that I was interested in. You know, I, I was particularly interested in pushing liberty issues and, and education reform, and, and um, yet I had to deal with a budget. And I had to dial back a little bit on things that I was looking for, or things um, that uh, folks who had voted for me and expected me to do were looking for me to do. You know? And, and uh, the reason is, is because you have to build constant coalitions um, as a politician at whatever level. If you're on a school board, or if you're on a, a budget committee, as, as Skip is, or, or um, if you're Speaker of the House, you can't just say, uh, I want this done. You, ha you have to, within your group, 
build coalitions to get it done, which means you have to sometimes lose part of your agenda or put it aside for a while. The, the benefit of, of not being in that position, the benefit of saying, this is my issue, whether it's a life issue or tax issues or, or liberty issues, gun issues, is you can say, you know, damn this torpedoes, full speed ahead. I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold everyone to the test of how they are on my issue or my set of affiliated issues. And that can be quite effective too. Um, I, I think there's, there's some groups out there who hold a great deal of power in the governance of, of New Hampshire because those in elected office, those who are voting for people in elective office, those who are, are uh, following the narrative understand what they want and uh, begin to pay attention to their issues. They can be quite effective over time. Uh, and and uh, you know, I thought, you know, because unlike me, Skip has spent a, a lot of his time in political uh, activity kind of on the outside, being part of a, a, a group that is looking to, to influence what's going on, looking to shape the narrative. But you know, perhaps he could start off by giving some of his perspective. One of the things I know Skip and I would really appreciate because as I look across this room, I see uh, a number of uh, people who have been in the legislature, people who are uh, holding party offices and all, is to get a perspective and experience and, and uh, uh, to share with us uh, some of the, the strategies that they use, some of the choices that they use, some of the, the maybe the compromises, or the, the fact that they didn't have to compromise. Share your experience as well, but I'll, I'll turn it to Skip. Well, I can summarize the whole experience at Granite Rock in uh, three words. We annoy people. <laughs> we uh, started off in 2006. Doug Lambert and I uh, figured that we had lots of opinions, sometimes multiple opinions on the same issue. And we'd start this thing called a blog. And we figured that by the end of a week, uh, our family, maybe five or six other people would read it. And we weren't even sure about our families either. But we have spent the last 13 years becoming an overnight success to where we are now, depending on the week, either the fourth or fifth largest online media site here in New Hampshire. Uh, so we, uh, we punch up because we are all volunteers. I, we have about five folks who write constantly, but another 10 that will write on an irregular basis. But our emphasis is on looking at the New Hampshire and U.S. constitutions. We also look at the NHGOP platform because it is still a conservative standard of measure that we go by. But we always do it from the lens of individual liberty and freedom. Now, I call myself conservatarian. Most of us at uh, Granite Rock do. Conservative with libertarian leaning. So I might be a little bit of a fish out of water here with some of my stances. But I'd like to think that Granite Rock has been the most free state project friendly media site here in New Hampshire. We do annoy people. We will look at the culture, we will look at the politics, and we look at it as, is this enhancing freedom? Is this uh, taking it away? Are people voiding our standards of measure? And if so, we smile, we uh, show our teeth, and we go after them. And one of our fortes is that we have the ability to drive somebody's name up to the first page of, Granite, of Google with Granite Rock stories. And we're in the process of going after progressives. Uh, we're sharpening our focus. And uh, we're hoping to get some of the normal people out there to understand what progressives are doing to their lives and exposing their votes. And we'll see what happens. We're, we've been pretty effective in uh, doing that in the past. Crop TV.